Hey everybody, this is Buddy. This one is not exactly right. My watch is pretty close. If you looked at the Striva, you, what you're seeing is I'm coming all the way back, almost 100 miles, but mathematically, I can't get it to 100 until I run some laps around the OC, come up into this parking lot, turn around, go back. I guess I've been trying to get five miles doing these little bitty laps and trying to do it on the flattest place I could find. So I've been to the park, you know, um, they, had a, they, had a, they had a bunch of people out there at the park, but I came, I did that, came here and still just ain't got the hundred yet but by the time i get to my house it's gonna be a hundred and i'll be through so that's what it is today today is october the 8th 2017 i've done six centuries in 15 days that's the most i've ever rode in 15 days Never rode a century until that first one. And um, come close in the times past, but I, I finally, finally did it. I broke through that little barrier. And um, so then I said, well, if you can do that, then rest up, do another one. I thought I'd do, you know, two. And then I felt so good after I rested up another time. I said, well, you know, it's almost a shame to just do 50 when I feel so good. So that was like the third one, and then the fourth one seemed to go really easy too. But the fifth one, oh man, the fifth one was, I rested yesterday, yesterday was Saturday, so the, the fifth one was Friday, the sixth. Man, it liked to have killed me. I, I needed to recover, and I felt really good today. I did get my nutrition right. That helped. There goes somebody with a bunch of balloons. Now you can't see it because it's behind a damn tree. But I was going, didn't get it turned around quick enough. But um, as you can see, the sun is way over here. That means I've been riding all day. Six hours and 11. I'm right at six hours and 11 minutes now. So by the time I get back to the house, it's going to be, to get that 100 to be about 6 hours and 25 minutes, something like that. Well, we'll see. All right. Just thought I'd kind of keep you up on something about what I'm doing. I hadn't made a video. I've been so busy doing um, the preparation for getting ready to ride. You know, it takes a lot of nutritional stuff and a lot of rest. And when I'm resting, I don't, you know, I don't feel like making videos. Hell, there's enough people making videos that, you know, that, what, what can I say about anything? Right now, I don't want to say nothing. There's not, no reason for me to add to the calamities and the shenanigans that are taking place in the world. All right. So you won't hear me talking about anything except riding this bicycle and getting my ass in some kind of Superman shape. I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, in a way, I kind of do. But, um, hey, it works. If you speak life to your body and your atoms, your cells, your DNA, you tell yourself you're becoming younger, stronger, healthier, you will be. You will become what you say you are. If you sit around and say you're broke, busted, sick, and disgusted, you'll get every reason the universe will give you exactly what you want. Broke, busted, sick, and disgusted. And just all pissed off about nothing. I'd much rather be in a peaceful state of mind and focus on how I can regenerate this body with this fifth, fifth dimensional energy wave that we're going through. A lot of people don't understand that, but in 5D.com, Greg Prescott, if you ain't checked his videos out, I don't know what to say. But we're moving into a, 
a place of being where we have what we say we have and we can be what we say we can be we can do anything and we're not there yet but you got to start believing that you're there in your atoms and then it starts manifesting within your body as perfect health and then you become younger and stronger and faster all that kind of good stuff that's that's kind of what I'd like to make videos about but you know it, sometimes it's hard to explain to people because it's so simple it's, it does it takes work I mean I didn't get this hundred miles today because I sat around and twiddled my fingers I got this hundred miles because I sat on my bicycle and I put forth the energy and consciousness that manifested throughout this watts the wattage that it took to actually turn and crank these pedals and um, either you can do it or you can't if you think you can't you'll never do it but if you start believing you can do it you'll do a century you'll do hundreds of them if you really really want it to and I don't know who I'm talking to but male nor female it don't matter to me I'm just saying if I can do it anybody anybody can do it if you're out of shape you can get in shape uh, who am I to tell people to get in shape I'm going to just be an example I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and when I'm 90 I'm going to be able to still motivate my body that of a 70 year old 60 year old person <laughs> that's enough all right bye bye